go see you? Somebody would come see me as like when they went to, went to apply for a mortgage and their scores were too low, they would be referred over to me. At that time, I would review their report with all three credit bureaus, and then, I, then I'd start doing my thing, working with the credit bureaus to try to clean up as much of that bad stuff off his report as possible. Now, if that person is claiming that some of this bad stuff that's on his report isn't mine, it's my brother's, it's my twin, whatever, and the creditor will not re remove that off of the credit report, then that's where I would refer that person over to Larry. Larry takes it the next step. And then he proceeds to do. I file lawsuits. That's what I do. So, yeah. So the, the consumer will go to Gary because there's something on his credit report or her credit report that's not accurate, and he'll even if it is. Well, let's just take the example because all I can do is handle things that are not mm, accurate. Right. If there's something that is accurate, it belongs in your report. Right. Sorry, but if it's not accurate, you dispute it to the credit bureaus. The credit bureaus respond after having checked with the furnisher. They, they the credit bureaus respond and say, uh, uh, it's staying on. That inaccuracy, that investigation, I will sue for them failing that investigation. But the other way I come in is also, let's say you go in for that loan and you get denied that loan. And the reason why you're denied is your credit report contains information that belongs to somebody else, say somebody with a sim similar name or a stepbrother. Or I, this morning I dealt with a, jun a father and a son, a junior, senior. I had that this morning. I get that all the time. Mm -hmm. I've got denied because my son's terrible credit is all over my credit report. That is an, I don't, you know, I would absolutely send you to now, Gary to dispute it, let but let I will also file the lawsuit. Let me interrupt you because that's so common, right? Yeah. You know, with your credit report that is, oh, this is my dad. This is my, this is my, uh, this is my uh, I had cousin. That, I've had that happen all the yeah. time. I've at had least, that at least I'd say uh, once, twice a week I'm getting a yeah. phone call, uh, twin, twin, twins for father sons. Now, every so often I get the, I have no idea who this person is. I have a case against uh, the credit, all three credit bureaus because there's this one woman, she's got, she's mixed with somebody else. It's a mess all over the place. And she's like, I don't know who this person is. We just have the same name. And she had no you know, relation. Larry, that, that, that happened too. I, I referred a client over to you. The same thing happened. Nobody yeah. knew, like, this is not me. Well, same me. name. Same name. So let's back up a little bit. You're telling me. So so it's a wrong person. It's affected their credit score and their ability to buy a home. And so this is where the damage comes in. Right. So if you're just looking at it yourself and saying, I'm seeing this. I'm not applying for anything, but I'm seeing this. No, I'm not going to be able to sue anything. Go to Gary. Let him dispute that. It's when you've gone to a potential creditor. You go to buy that home. You go to get that loan. And they go, oh, we're gonna, we can't do this right now until you fix this. This is all somebody else's stuff. That delay right there is a loss, right? You might have had to spend an extra month rent. You might have to, you know, you're holding off on something. What if rates adjust? What if you yep. lose? What if the owner of the house decides they don't want to sell? They don't want to wait two more months for you to get this thing squared away. I've had that happen. They're not going to wait. Though any loss that you suffer because of that delay is something that you have the right to recover for. One thing about real estate, it's it's um, unique. Every piece of, of uh, real estate is unique. So when you say, I can't buy that house, well, you can buy some other house, but I can't buy that house. Right. And that's the house I really we want. We really want that one. And so there, that's why in, yeah. in real estate law, there's specific performance. Inside I can school make line? them. Yes, that maybe that's huge. Exactly. So so again, so it, you know, so in the real estate, that's again, that's your that that house is unique. And it and when I can't buy that house, there's some damage. 